Now to some uh, leading story here in Nigeria. Services on the Abuja Kaduna train are set to resume today. The first train will depart Regasa train station for Abuja at 8 a.m. West African time. It comes a week after the federal government announced the postponement in order to put in place proper security measures. It comes eight months after a terrorist attack that killed at least eight people. Well, for more, let's bring in a rise correspondent, Nisi Gabriel, who's live at the Rigasa station in Kaduna. Good morning, Nisi. Good to have you on the show. Tell us uh, what's going on. Yeah, good morning, Kenneth, and uh, good morning, Kichi. Well, uh, as you all know, train services on, along the Kaduna Abuja route begins today after over eight months of inactivity along uh, this road. Well, as I speak to you, I'm at the Rigasa train station in Kaduna State, and as you can see right behind me, a lot of activities, activities have commenced on this, uh, uh, train, at this train station today. And right behind me, you can see there's a ticketing uh, point. A lot of persons are gathered there just to purchase their boarding tickets. And just beside me, you have the pay points, they call it the pay pole. This is where, after uh, getting your boarding tickets, passengers will come to this particular point, this machine here, to to do their main verification. That's the national identi identification uh, number verification. So passengers will present their boarding tickets and their main number to the officials, the train, the train services officials who are mount, mount, who are manning the payphone machine, and they will verify if their main number match uh, what they have on their system. So that has been the activity here so far. So as expected, a lot of persons are gathered here to actually board the train services. Or like, because actually many of us did think that we won't see this kind of beehive of persons here, beehive of activities here. But to our greater surprise, many persons are actually boarding this train today. And the first train leaves 8 a.m. from the Gaza to Idu train station in Abuja. Kenneth. Yes, Nisi, I agree with you. I didn't think we'd see a lot of passengers there. And we know there's some uh, new uh, implementations that have been put ahead of this resumption. Like you mentioned, the national identification number, you, have, you must have that before you purchase a ticket. However, there's also been an increase in the fare prices of that uh, Abuja Kaduna train uh, journey. What, I don't know if you've spoken to any of the passengers and what are some of their thoughts about that increase in fare prices? Yes, um, Kichi, uh, we will be speaking to some passengers very soon. We will be speaking to some passengers very soon to just get a sense how they feel about uh, boarding this train today. And as you know, several security measures have been put in place uh, before the commencement of this train activity today. Like rightly said, the main, the national identification uh, number, verification number is part of the security measure, add the security measure to these train services. Also, the Inspector General of Police has, has assured uh, passengers of an improved security along the train routes and also inside the train. When we're coming to the train station today, we could see several police personnel manning the vicinity of the train station and also some of them will be going, will, will, will also board the train to go with passengers from Rigasa train station to Idu train station. So from what we can see on ground, there's an improved security presence on ground and from what the Inspector General of Police did say, uh, various police personnel have been drawn from various police formations across the country just to ensure that the train services, we don't have a real occurrence of what happened on March 28th. And I'll be speaking to some, uh, let me try and get um, someone to speak to. All right, most, most of the passengers here are busy trying to get their tickets and uh, some of them. So can we speak to you? Sorry, let me... All right, good morning, sir. Morning, how are you? Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Engineer Yaya. All right, how does you feel boarding this train today? Because we know what happened on March 28th uh, when the terrorists attacked the train station and it has left big scars I on the hearts of many Nigerians. So how do you feel? No, I feel comfortable, no problem. I hope uh, the government has taken so many measures and we, are, we, are tr we trust the government. We are going to be safe, inshallah. Yeah, the National Railway uh, Corporation, they said there will be a hike in transport fare. So how much did you pay? I paid uh, 3500 by, by economy seat. 
Yeah. So do you trust that there will be an improved security on this train? Yeah, I trust. I trust. Uh, with what they said, I believe what they said. What would be your advice to the federal government moving forward? Uh, yeah, my advice is that they should put more air because uh, when there is enforcement in many laws, I think it will uh, it will ask, it will help the system. So I, I pray that the government should continue consistently providing the railway station with uh, security and other uh, other logistic support. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Have a safe trip. All right, we've heard from one of the passengers. Many of them are optimistic that. Uh, there's, there will be an improved security, and many are also hoping that the security being put in place does not dwindle. Because most times, as we know in Nigeria, uh, first reopening of services like this, we will see an improved security. But after some time, uh, we just see security of eight operators slacking in their responsibility. So we do hope that what happened on March 28 doesn't occur again. Still speaking about security, Nisi, um, I wonder how you got to the train station. Did you get into the train or did you get there by car? And if you say that the police are hanging all around, I mean, we've been on this chat for, for minutes now. And I haven't seen any security personnel. Are there cameras around there? Are there spies hanging around? We got to the train station by car, obviously, and uh, for the security operatives, they are everywhere, as I said. But what we do know is that, we do know that on the part of the federal government, from sources, sources do say that they've been able to put trackers at strategic uh, points along the Kaduna Abuja uh, train route. But for cameras, one cannot be sure, because like the Minister of Transportation did say, they won't be reviewing their security strategies to the uh, public. But so far so good, they feel they've been able to do what is necessary, humanly possible, to ensure maximum security along the Kaduna Abuja train route. Thank you so much, Nisi Gabriel, for keeping us updated on res the resumption of the uh, Kaduna Abuja train station. Thank you so much. That's Nisi in Kaduna State.